Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right guys, another day, another install and preview on smartphone tutorials. In today's video, we're gonna check out AeroOS based on Android 10 for the K20 Pro. Now, this is a fairly popular ROM. It's not exactly as popular as Pixel Experience or Resurrection Remix, but on some devices, this ROM has proved out to be good. So in today's video, we will quickly see what it is it based on like MIUI vendor or OSS vendor, and what do we need to install it? And once it is installed, we will check out the few initial impressions that we need. Now before we do all of that, let me just give you a quick reminder that we are doing a small fundraiser to get a used Pocophone F1 for smartphone tutorials and once that phone is about to retire, we will go ahead and give it away to one lucky subscriber who will donate at least $1. We just need 150 people and the link is mentioned in the description and on our community as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to install a very very special ROM. As you know from the title, we are going to talk about Aero OS X based on Android 10 for the K20 Pro. Now the reason I'm saying this is very very special is because as I have noticed from my comment section, a lot of you guys are up to simplicity and stability when it comes to a custom ROM for this particular device. Now matter of fact, I am shooting this video after actually using the ROM, but we will have a full review coming after this video. So stay tuned for that because this is going to be special. Now in today's video, we will quickly install the ROM. We will have a first look at it and I I will just show you how exactly smooth it is and you know just the first impressions as it goes for most of the installs and previews so to do this you have to have a few prerequisites you need to have a k20 pro that is recommended to have a 50 percent charge i know i have less but i'm okay with that it's up to you it's it's not that risky but it's completely your call and I would highly recommend before flashing any new ROM, please back up all the information you have on the phone. For example, I prefer wiping everything. It is not necessary. A lot of you have asked me in the comment section that why don't you flash the decrypt zip? Why don't you actually back up everything and not wipe the internal storage? My job is to give you guys the opinion of how exactly a ROM is working. And for that, the best way to do is have a clean flash always. Now, there are a few files that we're going to need. And this video is again special because we are also going to install ANX camera along with the ROM so that on first boot, we will have everything that we need. More on that later. So we will need the MIUI vendor file. We will need the ROM file. We will need the Pico G apps we will need the anx camera 185 version and we will also need the 48 megapixel fix so magisk is optional it's up to you if you want to flash it or not so i have everything ready over here so first of all let's go ahead and format data so let's manage partitions data format data and type yes there we go as you can see, I did an Android backup. A video on this topic will be coming soon as well. How to do an Android backup, how to flash ROM, what exactly is a zip, custom recovery. Give this video a like if you really want to see that video though. So uh, once we've formatted data, reboot back to recovery. All right, don't try to boot into system because it will boot, but then you'll have a new ROM installed. So it doesn't do much. So bam, just like that, we are back to this particular recovery and then we will go to wipe dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage now if you are on the latest vendor which is compatible with this particular rom you can choose to not flash or not wipe this vendor you can choose to keep your internal storage intact that is completely your choice but i prefer erasing everything and starting afresh now at this point you formatted data rebooted and you wiped everything so don't try to boot you will be in sort of a sticky situation wherein you'll have to flash the stock rom again then the recovery and it's a lot of hassle so don't do that so we have our friend over here the flash drive with the otg cable we're going to connect that all right so let's go to mount and mount usb storage now remember everything including internal storage is wiped so select the usb otg and i know that's a lot of fines 
just ignore because I do a lot of flashing. That's how you get all the content that you see on the channel. Please do subscribe if you have not. Uh, so the first file that we'll be flashing, of course, is the vendor. So this is the vendor file. Then we will go to add zips to queue. And then we will go to Aero OS vanilla version. That is the reason we need G apps add to queue. And then we will need the Pico open G apps Pico. Okay. After this, we will need the ANX camera 185. Select that. And then we will add the 48 megapixel fix. Now swipe to flash. Now this is a lot of files. It's more than, I think it's at least two gigabytes that we are flashing. So this will easily take two to three minutes. So go have a cup of coffee till the time this is flashed. Unless you get an error, you should be good to go. All right, so one eternity later, everything has been flashed, including the camera. So moment of truth. Let's go ahead and reboot. So wipe all the caches and reboot we will. This is the first boot. Let's have a new look or the first look at the boot animation for Aero OS. I'm expecting this ROM to be pretty good because, okay, that's an Android there and uh, Aero as you expect. Pretty simple and uh, stunning boot animation, if you will. It doesn't look uh, too crowded. Let's wait for the ROM to boot. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen. The only thing that I've done is quickly switched to dark theme to avoid the extra brightness that you usually get with new flash ROMs. Now, first things first that you see over here is ANX camera is already there. You don't see any other default application. And what makes me really, really think good about this rom is you have 5 10 and 3 13 application that is it and i'm telling you this rom has wi-fi calling working this rom has aod with fod that is always on display with fingerprint scanner working just fine the automatic brightness is on point and you do have the complete suite of miui camera as well in the form of anx cam all right so now that anx camera is already there let's give it a try in some situations you might want to give it some permissions before you start but in our case it works just fine so anx camera is working we have very very few applications you don't even have chrome you have a browser called DuckDuckGo, which is uh, you know centered towards privacy and security so let's actually go to settings and let's have a look at this rom now there are small things like these like when we make videos we have to blur this part out because it shows the imei but it says tap to show information so let's go to the firmware version this is aero os 10 everything is working this is the build dated of 12th of september 2020 and the latest september security patch as well now as i mentioned at the start of the video a full review will be following up really really soon maybe tomorrow or day after so stay tuned for that this was the quick install and preview how you can install Arrow OS, the vanilla build with Pico G apps and ANX camera in one go. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.